I wasn't planning on making a winterizing video, but here I am doing it. There are probably thousands of videos on YouTube on how to winterize a boat, so I thought, why would I make another one? But then I thought, what's one more? And then I started watching some of these videos, and I guess my favorite one was this guy. This one's called Easy Boat Winterize. All you need is a swimming pool, a sump pump, a garden hose, a helper, and probably 50 gallons of antifreeze. And then even more entertaining are some of the comments people leave. <laughs> So today's boat is a 2008 Tahoe. It's got a 4.3 liter V6 Merc Cruiser in it. Uh, before I do the actual freeze protection, I'm gonna do all the other basic maintenance you should do once a year, typically when you winterize. I'm gonna run it for a while. I have the fuel treated, waiting for the treated fuel to work through the system, getting it up to temperature, basically to get the oil hot. I'm gonna pump the oil out change the filters, fill it back with oil, and last but not least, drain the gear lube, pressure check the outdrive, and from there I'll move on to the next steps. So on to the winterizing or freeze protection part of this. Uh, most of these engines are going to have four or five drain points. If you have a fifth one, you're kind of lucky. I'll show you why in a minute. But there's usually two on each side with the V8 models. You got one drain point here on the bottom of your manifold. And then, where is it? Side of your block, you have another one. So two on each side. We'll come around to the front. And this is the fifth one. Some boats have, some don't. Uh, if you don't have this, you're gonna have to undo this clamp because water will get trapped in the bottom of this hose. So again, on this one, they added a drain for that specific reason. Makes it a little easier. So for the sake of not making a crappy, shaky video, I'm just gonna show you the easy one to film here. Basically, you just unscrew the plugs. Let the water drain out. If nothing comes out, just take a screwdriver, clean the hole out. That does happen from time to time. So here's the plugs once they're out. Uh, I got all five out right now. Uh, this is where opinions start to differ. I'm gonna put all five back in. I'm gonna remove these four hoses here, just the uh, one ends. Then I'm gonna basically fill the engine back up with antifreeze. So I got my hoses off here. I'll just show you what's what. Uh, the one on the left fills the left manifold. One on the right fills the right. This one here is the intake. So as you dump antifreeze down that, it'll work its way out back down into the impeller. And the big one fills the engine. So as you're filling this one, it'll take, I think, about three gallons to get the engine full. But it'll actually start coming out of here. That's how you know the engine's full. When you're filling the exhaust ones, uh, just short of a gallon, you'll start to hear it coming out the exhaust and back. So you know the manifolds are full, and it's worked its way all the way through the system. So here we are with the hoses all back on. I'll just go over this one more time. We filled four hoses. One, two, three, four. Uh, these two here go to the exhaust manifolds. We know those were full because we heard it running out the back. Uh, the one that goes to the intake or the impeller and the outdrive, we could also tell that was full because it was leaking out the back. And the one going to the engine, we knew that was full because it was 
basically running out the thermostat housing. So as it sits right now, the engine is full of antifreeze. So now that the engine's full, step three in my process is to drain it again. So a lot of people will argue this point. Some people don't even use antifreeze. Some people say leave it full. Uh, when you winterize a lot of boats for different customers, you can never be too certain that it's it's done correctly. So it's just peace of mind for me. I like to drain it and see pink coming out of all the, the drain spots. That way I know the engine got full. Everything draining out is antifreeze. And if there's any water trapped anywhere, it's diluted with five gallons of antifreeze now, so it will not be an issue. And now, on to the next one.